As I said, it takes place in four different cities throughout the U.S., Boston, Washington, D.C., Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Crystal River, Florida. Um, I think it's really nice to have that different look um, in each place to see the different levels of rowing. You know, up in Boston, it's at Community Rowing, which is an amazing facility. It has great coaching and great uh, equipment and pretty much anything any rower could want in a facility. And so there's that versus Alabama, which is kind of the exact opposite. It's got uh, it's a new program. You know, they're in a shed. Uh, it's, you know, a volunteer coach. It's very, you know, rustic, I guess you could say. And so seeing the different levels in which these athletes go through in order to be able to compete. Um, they're both highly competitive athletes, uh, but their location is different. And so seeing, you know, the differences in, in that, as well as, you know, just the, the culture differences, you know, what it means to be a, to live in D.C. as a disabled athlete or to live in, you know, Crystal River, Florida, you know, with a disability. So seeing the differences in, in just lifestyle as well. Uh, it shows, you know, what it takes to be somebody who has a spinal cord injury and is in rowing and then somebody who is visually impaired and is in rowing. You know, what what does that mean? How are they able to still compete in the same sport um, with such differences in, in ability? And so showing those, uh, those different aspects of things. Uh, and then also showing, it shows the level of, of competition that's within uh, rowing. So... In 2014, it was an incredible year for the sport of rowing. There was an emergence of a lot of new athletes. Uh, it had the youngest LTA4 that has ever uh, been, been made a boat. I don't think, I think it's not of any country. So uh, having new new athletes, uh, high competition, uh, there was, I think, you know, there was 12 athletes and three coxswains who competed at the, at the uh, LTA4 camp. And that was great. And it had, they, everybody was in, extremely competitive and it could have been anybody's boat. So showing just how high the level of competition is, I think is going to be really great for the sport of para rowing. Um, I'm really hoping that the rowing world will be able to uh, back this project. I know this documentary has potential to do great things for uh, not only just the sport of rowing, but for disability sports. And uh, I hope that you can help me in uh, telling the story so that we can get awareness out and we can get people to see what's going on within the sport of rowing and show how disabilities aren't a factor in rowing and how it can be an outlet not only to have competition and to have activity, but also to get away and to um, be able to, you know, everything that, that we love rowing for, it can be that for anybody.